Hey everyone, welcome back to Data Sciency. In this video today, I'll be telling you about a new product which is introduced by Meta and it's called Aria Gen 2. And Aria Gen 2 is the new AI smart glasses. So this Aria Gen 2 is unlocking new research in machine perception, contextual AI, robotics, and more. So before Aria Gen, the generation of one was launched in 2020. So Project ARIA has enabled researchers across the world. So they have enabled the research across the world to advance the state of the art in machine perception and AI through access to cutting edge research, hardware, and open source data sets, models, and tooling. So they're excited to announce the next step in this journey, which is the introduction of ARIA Gen 2 glasses. So this next generation of hardware, which is the smart glasses, will unlock new possibilities across a wide range of research areas in which there's machine perception, egocentric, and contextual AI and robotics. And if you have a look at the little bit of this video, then they show you that how Project ARIA or the ARIA Gen 2 glasses, they work. So let's see a little bit of it. So if I click on this, so if you see here in the Meta Reality Lab research, so this is the ARIA Gen 2 glasses. So if you see here, so you, when you control it or you like wear it, of course you wear it on your eyes because it's the Aria Gen 2 glasses. And here, first of all, there's like the cameras. There are many, many things in it, which they'll be telling you about because there's camera, even at the nose of it, there are things added to it. So you can see here, they're telling about the, so you can see here how many things are added, like the cameras, the voice recognition, and they've added a lot of things in Aria Gen 2 glasses means they have made Aria Gen 2 better than Aria Gen 1 and the unique things that they have added so first is state of the art sensor suit so the sensor is upgraded there is an RGB camera because that camera of course in that there's RGB RGB means red blue green red green blue by the way so you know to see the lights and all that stuff. And even if you see the colors around you, for example, like if you see it, have a look at your phone, if you have a look at your mic or anything, you can tell what color is it. That is due to the RGB in our eyes. So in the glasses, they add the RGB camera to detect what kind of color you're looking at. For example, if you look at the paper, if you look at anything, you can see like what color is it. And first is six DOF slam cameras. Now this camera, six DOF, degrees of freedom. They're like in six types of directions you can have a look at. First of all, you know, there's the X axis, the Y axis, the Z axis. So the X axis is if you go move forward and backward, that is the X axis. The Y axis, if you go from left to right, so that is the Y axis. And Z axis is if you go up and down, like if you look up and look down, so that is Z axis. And the other three is the rotation around X axis, Y axis, and Z axis. So, so in many direction, there is the camera. So the camera can move in many direction. Like if you like have a look, you can go, to, you can look at left and right. So according to that, it will adjust to it. And SLAM is for localization and mapping. For example, if you're wearing the glasses, so if you have a look at the room, so first it will create the 3D map of the room. Okay, this glasses will make it and then it will pinpoint at what direction or at what location you are. So that is slam cameras. There's eye tracking cameras also. If you move your eyes to the left or if you move your eyes to the right, the camera will adjust to that. Just so have a look at where you are looking at because this is not the normal glasses, it's the smart glasses. So spatial microphones is that the microphone that they have added to the glasses First of all, it isolates your voice from the other people's voice so that it can recognize your voice because what you are saying to the glasses, it can understand you. And then whatever background noise is that, it isolates it so that it can isolate your voice from the background noise. And there's IMU. So IMU is inertial measurement unit. So in this, in IMUs, so IMUs are made up of three things. Accelerometers, which measure the speed and the movement. There's gyroscope. So gyroscope, it measures the rotation, like what direction you're going or in which direction you're going. So it measures the rotation. And magnetometers is like a digital compass which measures the orientation using Earth's magnetic field. For example, you're at the south side, you're at the north side, you're at the east side or west side, so that it 
or measure this. So barometer is added to it to measure the air pressure. For example, if you go to a steep hill, so in that the air pressure changes or if you are at the ground, so there are the air pressure changes so that barometer is there. And GNSS, so this is for the GPS. So it's like GPS to understand that which direction you are at what location you are so that it can tell you about the maps also that you are at this street or at this point or at this near this shop okay and compared to its predecessor so compared to aria gen 1 so this new generation which is aria gen 2 it introduces also two new sensors also which is embedded in the nose pad so here in the nose pad you will see that two new sensors are added. First is PPG sensor, which is for measuring heart rate. For example, if you want to measure your heart rate, so there's PPG sensor, and there's also a contact microphone at the nose. So at the nose, there's a contact microphone in which it distinguishes the wearer's voice from that of bystanders. So this microphone will be able to tell the difference between your voice and other people's voice. It can listen to your voice, so it's a new thing. And there's ultra low power and on device machine perception so as i already told you there's slam which is for localization eye tracking hand tracking also there is and speech recognition also so hand tracking to oh, track the hand so it can understand your hand movements and speech recognition speech recognition to understand the speech with these all are processed on the device using meta's custom silicon so all these are processed on the device and all the usability so this Aria Gen 2 glasses are capable to use for 6 to 8 hours of continuous use. Means continuously you can use it for 6 to 8 hours. The weight is 75 grams and it has foldable arms for its easy portability. So foldable arms are there. And interaction through audio. Okay, users get audio feedback via best in class open ear force cancelling speakers enabling user in the loop system prototyping okay the speakers that they are so it's it's very best and very nice and regarding this glasses at meta the teams at reality labs research and the fair ai lab will use them to advance the long-term research vision so reality labs research and fair ai lab will use it to advance the long-term research vision they will also make it available to academic and commercial research labs through project aria so that they can further advance open research and public understanding for the technologies that they believe will help shape the future of computing and AI. So this open research which was enabled by Project ARIA since 2020, it had led to important research, there's like creation of open source tool and even the EGO EXO4D dataset which is collected using the first generation of ARIA glasses. Okay, so this dataset is collected using the first generation of ARIA glass. It means ARIA Gen 1. So through ARIA Gen 1, this data set was collected. And now they say that how they're also telling that how it can be used in real world. So this, so the ARIA research kit can help humanoid robots learn to assist people in the home while also teams at BMW used it to explore how to integrate augmented and virtual reality system into smart vehicles. So BMW use, are using it and even ARIA research tool, it's used to help humanoid robots. Now this ARIA glasses were also utilized by Carnegie Mellon University in their NAVCOG projects. So these glasses were used there. Now because Carnegie Mellon University, they are aiming to build technologies to assist blind and low vision individuals with indoor navigation. So that's why they're trying best so that's why they're trying their best to use aria gen 2 glasses to help people who are blind or have low vision and for that envision is doing it so envision is a company which is dedicated to creating solutions for people who are blind or have low vision so that's why they're using this aria gen 2 they're trying to use aria gen 2 glasses to enhance indoor navigation and accessibility experiences they're also thinking to integrate their ai assistant alley and special audio using the latest aria gen 2 glasses so they're doing that so regarding this company envision has already used the on device slam capabilities the localization capabilities of aria gen 2 along with spatial audio features via onboard speakers so they have used this to assist blind and low vision individuals 
to seamlessly navigate indoor environments. So to help blind people and low vision individuals. Now this innovative use of technology, which is still in the exploratory and research phase, so that they, it also exemplifies how researchers can use ARIA Gen 2 glasses for prototyping area experiences. Now this advanced sensors and on-device machine perception capabilities in which their SLAM, eye tracking, hand tracking and audio interaction also make it ideal for data collection for research and robotics application. And over the coming months also they say that when this device will be available to partners and even researchers who are interested in accessing ARIA Gen 2 can sign up to receive updates. So they can sign up to receive updates and they're also excited to see how researchers will use ARIA Gen 2 to pave the way for future innovations that will shape the next computing platform. So if you like this video, do like, subscribe and comment down below whether you think this product is good for you or it's a useful product or not. So that's all from my side. Catch you next time. Bye bye.